Chapin. I'm Nikki. And this is Rena Recipes, and we are glad that you're back. This is the first episode that we're going to start bringing guests on, and we have a great guest today. Uh, before we get to that, I'm going to tell you what we're making, and we are going to make some fancy meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. That's the at-home show, so you can do it any way you want. We're just going to give you a guideline, but we are going to show you a way to make some uh, meatloaf that is dressed to impress and plated real nicely and potatoes done a different way. And uh, before we get to that, let's tell you what we're using today. A bag of chips. I prefer kettle, jal uh, kettle jalapeno chips. They're great, they work out. We've got some shiitake mushrooms. Mushrooms on everything. Mushrooms on everything. Every episode. Yeah, every episode we gotta have mushrooms <laughs> and salt and pepper. We're gonna teach you the song here at Jenny's. Mostly we've got Italian sausage, uh, we've got ground beef. I personally like to do the 90-10 and get it as lean as possible. He also likes to give it a little, yeah. a little smack. Yeah, just, I'll, slap, I'll slap a hamburger. Don't touch everything uh, else. Okay, Don't. all right. We got an apple, <laughs> Granny Smith. We've got some red potatoes that I've pre pepped behind me. Pre pepped. <laughs> Chipotle. Yeah, Chipotle. <laughs> We've got a yellow onion. Tap tap present. An egg. And it's just from a chicken. <laughs> We've got red potatoes. And these are not, I don't think, from um, Idaho. Um, <laughs> We've got some Parmesan cheese, some Worcestershire, salt and pepper. Wait, you could say Worcestershire, you can't say Chipotle? Right. <laughs> wow. 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 Everyone, that's our cameraman Theo. We'll be plugging him later. We've got barbecue sauce, any kind you want. I just picked up some Kinder's because uh, you I didn't, I didn't. Well, I didn't know what I had out there. I, I, I I'm a big fan of collecting uh, olive oils, vinegars, sauces. So I have a total array out there, but I just, I, I don't know. I blew it. <laughs> anyway, got ketchup. Heinz is the king. In my opinion, I don't trust anything that's cat sup. I mean, I'll go for a store brand. I don't care. Yeah, really. not, not me. Go some great value. Mean, I'll, I'll, I'll spend the forty. Cents. They don't sell that store I brand at the Rayleigh's. He goes to. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, they don't um, have Rayleigh's. Doesn't have a store brand. Sorry. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. What is it? Rayleigh's. <laughs> 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 uh, and we've got garlic. Of course, garlic, 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 garlic. And uh, okay. those are the things that we're going to use. Now, without further ado, I am going to introduce Jenny O. Uh, I know Jenny for many years. Uh, she used to be uh, the owner of Salon 7. Now she does uh, private stuff. She also goes and works with a lot of films in Hollywood and does hair and makeup down there. Uh, she's not only wonderful, she's uh, great to her community and um, she's very funny a great person, and she can't cook for shit, so that's why we want her on here. <laughs> Everyone, this is Jenny O. Yay! Yay! Thank you so much. All right, Jenny, so what we're going to do, yeah, kind of a big deal. Yes. Yeah. Are you, are you praising them? I'm ready. Praise <laughs> Jesus. Let's do this. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. I'm going to grab a bowl. Okay. That's the first thing we're going to do. Bowl. Sweet. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Back this on. is where it starts, right here. <laughs> All right. All right. We're going to put meat in here. Both the meats in there. It's in here. All right. Okay. I'm going to put that, and then I want you to crack an egg and put it in there. Okay. Nikki had a rough morning at her regular work, so I'm going to let you smash the chips. And I mean, really, just come on. And yeah, let's go. Uh, Look at yeah. I did it. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, you're doing a good that job. Is. Okay. Now, Jenny, I don't know if you've seen the show or not. Have you seen the show? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Okay, so on the show, there's a song that we sing that from a place where I used to work called West Shore Cafe uh, in Todd. And we sing a song there. Okay. And we're going to teach it to you right now. Okay. And it involves this. Are you ready? Okay. Nikki? Yes. On three. Yes. One, two, three. Red and yellow, purple and green, salt and pepper on everything. That's it? Well, yeah, that's it. So I don't remember the color. So if you can sing the song right into there, I'm going to chop up this apple with these mushrooms. 
so that you know you guys don't have to. Do I put the stuff in here? Worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You those. turn Red it. And orange yeah. and yellow yeah. and green. <laughs> we put the stuff in everything. That's right. It's close. Oh, okay. I'll just, I'll just leave this here so we can put other things in it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Please don't mess with me I'm, because I'm really I'm, trying not to I'm, cuss right now. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, wait. That's plenty. Of this so as we go here, oh, go ahead, what we're doing is we're putting all of the meatloaf together, but we're putting all the flavors in it at once as well. I'm scared. Um, and what you really want to do yeah, is you kind of want to eyeball it. I felt it, good. But at the same time, if you need exact measures, go with half cups and then just figure it out from there. So it's going to be really easy. So uh, we are going to you like this? take care oh, of this. And I'm you sure that you've that never heard of right? apple and meatloaf, but because we're putting the breadcrumbs and because yeah. we're putting the kettle chips in there, um, sometimes I use chicharrones. Did I say it right? Chicharrones? Chicharrones. Chicharrones. It's the day of my people. Okay. I don't even know. Okay. Okay, so I put some chicharrones sometimes, um, but we got the apple and we're going to put that in there. and. Especially with a Granny Smith and its tangy flavor, um, it's really going to kind of go well with that Italian sausage. Mm -hmm. It's new knife day, and so I am literally a little bit intimidated by my knives because I've already done a digger. Mm. They are here. Look that. No, I'm going to cut some of these hair. Like that. <laughs> I'm just gonna, you ready for a haircut? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Got it. Got so, it. before we start, everybody knows that Nikki is an alcoholic. Oh. So, we. That is not. <laughs> That's not <laughs> is that good Don't tell me I can't pronounce true. things. Don't tell me I can't pronounce things. Around here, we always do shots with Nikki. We love Nikki. And now that Jenny O's here, we got to get her a shot too. So, Mystery Hand. Where is Mystery Hand that we have every episode? There we go. Cheers, everyone. Yay. Theo. Eye contact. <laughs> eye contact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, man, that's nice not to drink. That's really good. Mm. That's really, oh, yeah. that's real delicious. good. That's delicious. Really, Afternoon really delight. So good. Mm. All right, so the other things that we're going to add into here, we've uh, de-stemmed some shiitake mushrooms. We're going to get some, hey. get some, yeah, I said shiitake, right? right? Yeah. We're going to do just See, I can't a real do quick cut. There you go. Same size as the apples. Get those in there. If you want to start on this side with with these, or Nikki, either hmm. one, or, either or. What are we gonna do? Just kind of like you did? Yeah. We're doing a little work on this right here? Yeah, no, no, right on here. Right on here. Yeah, let's okay. share I'm scared. I'm so let's scared, share I don't know what the... It's a real sharp knife. It's a new knife day, so. Okay. Just little, little pieces like that. You gotta figure it's in a meatloaf, so no, you don't want really want any bigger than, Okay. you know what I'm saying? Got it. I'm gonna try and to we're not gonna do too much mushrooms, because the reason we're only doing a little bit of mushrooms Oops, is this. Mushrooms hold a ton of liquid. Yep. So uh, when they cook, we do want a juicy meatloaf, but we don't want a drown your meatloaf. <laughs> yeah. means. Definitely juicy. Oh my god, I can't believe you drowned your meatloaf. What the hell? I don't Are you want. Doing more yeah, I don't want people talking. If you want to start with that. Sure. Uh, we did salt and pepper. We did, did breadcrumbs. How smashed up are those kettle chips? Pretty smashed. All right. Did they do the job? Well, then we can pull some of them in. That's perfect, Jenny. Look at it. Pull some of them in. Stuff. Oh my God. So, Jenny, one of the reasons. Jenny Stewart. Oh my gosh. Mm. You know what time it is? We'll yeah. get back to one of the reasons. Where's your share? I'm sure you're watching Nikki as she goes. Nikki likes to go ahead of what we're doing every, every single time. That's I'll be all. Thought, yeah, man. we did. We did. We did, we did the peaches the other day, and then it, they were, the mint was supposed to be for uh, garnish, and she <laughs> really cut them all up. I just wanna. <laughs> so she was anticipating your needs yes. and having forethought, that's man. Really I know that's, that's really, really hard good. for you to understand. However, we always think about it before. Yeah. Well, as much as we yes. as much as we joke around, okay, we okay. are definitely about That's community good. on the show, um, and we're definitely about uh, family. And we all know things are very trying right now for a lot of people. I think that's probably enough. So we're trying to bring some joy to our life. But I have to introduce our second guest today. She is my daughter, and I love her very much. She's my soup chef. Your soup chef? Yeah, my soup chef. Okay. I don't I mean, say that right either. She's your soup. No, soup I am a chef. A chef. Yeah. Well, come on over, Josie. Josie's gonna come in, and tell us, a, tell us a joke. Yes. And while Josie tells a joke, 
why don't you go over there? So the ladies are over there. And, um, no, no, you can be in the thing. But we're together. I'm, yeah, you guys all. Josie's going to tell a joke, and I'm going to um, just add some stuff to this. So hopefully you can see me at the same time. <laughs> so, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's related to the joke. Um, what? Kind of, because it makes, because. This is the sound. It's of about that kind of noise. Uh, um, so there was a drunk guy, and he went into an elevator. Oh, it's a drunk guy in Reno. And, <laughs> and he farted in front of this like posh, nicely dressed lady. Very elegant and, woman. Yes. yes. And she said, "How dare you fart before me?" And he said, "Sorry, lady, I didn't know it was your turn." <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it, people. There you have it. Fart jokes. Fart jokes on Reno winner. recipes. Yes. All right. All right. We're going to do a little bit of this in here. Now, who wants to get their hands dirty? If I have gloves, if you do not. I would need them. I can you want to squish? I can. I'll do it. I can you want to squish? I can go bareback. All right. All right. Your but hands washed? Take the off. Okay. Hold on. I hands said, I meant to say squish. So. All right. You two squash that together. Ready? And while we do ready? that, ready? like I said, ready? we have. Oh. oh, yeah, that's a whole deal, right? Oh. Make sure you get all together, you get the egg wrapped in there. That's oh, so yeah. <laughs> I can't even know oh, yeah. egg in there. Now, yeah. the reason that I think a lot of people do meatloafs all ground beef. Look, man, it's like this. Look, man, it's a loaf of meat. So why would you just restrict yourself to hamburger? Yeah. Get some sausage in there, you know? Sometimes okay. I make it with buffalo. Make like, meat bread. It's a loaf of meat. Make the loaf of meat count. Make Make, Make it special. I like the ground pork. And Pretty much like meat combo. bread. Right? It's like yeah. meat bread. Yeah, it's kind of my favorite. Don't think of it like that. That, that, that sounds really gross. Yeah. Pork! Wow. Yeah, that's good. Pork. All right, so. Get deep in it. I'm going to scoot these guys over off the board. Okay, we're going to go this way. Actually, we're, ooh, I, oh, let's use that one. I didn't I know that there was egg in there. Um, it's not anymore. It's all crunched up. And like I said, I boiled some of these red potatoes prior. Pick it okay. up, flip it over. Pick it up, flip it over. They're okay. soft, but they're not too soft. Like mm -hmm. they're right before mashed potato soft, if that makes sense. I did uh, okay. eight little potatoes about 12 minutes on a high boiling them. Made it super simple. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut some rings of those. A little bit, One little ring. bit thick, but a little bit skinny. Right here would be absolutely ideal. Because what we're going to do with those, we're going to finish cooking them in oil um, with some seasoning. And that's going to be our our base for our plate with um, how we garnish it and present it. So literally, it'll be more than that, but the meatloaf's going to go on that after they're fried. And then we're going to have some other stuff on that. And we're going to make a sauce with what we've got. So... Because we have a lot of people here. That's a lot of hands in here. Um, <laughs> but everybody did wash their hands before the show. I made sure. Yes, that, we did. That is a very, very true fact. Um, it's very important. See now. this? We're just going to make, make a look. We grab that pan. Sure. Bring it on over. Yeah. You could do mini loaves. Meat bread. You could do one big loaf. I think we'll probably do this in three loaves because I always like to send the crew home with food. Um, and that's probably what I'm going to have for dinner tonight, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. It's going to be yummy. Mm -hmm. So we got those. We made those. Nikki, if you don't mind, will you stick, keep doing going on the potatoes? Sure. Jenny, do yep, you I have do. a joke? Do I have a joke? A joke. That's all right. A lot of people can't do a joke right on the spot. No, because you know I never absorb them. It'll I, like I don't even remember what you said. I'm sorry, but I know that was something with a fart. So right? I didn't know it was your turn. <laughs> you, uh, uh, <laughs> what happened before that? I got a fart before me. It's my medication. It gives me memory loss. But um, yeah, it's you know I don't really I can't absorb the jokes typically. It's my glucose. Yes, yeah, my glaucoma. So yeah, I, okay, I can't say that right either. Yeah, it's fine. All right, see I, your semites. We've got okay. three. You want to make sure that they're molded correctly. It looks like I'm going to take that one. one. Bite out of that one. Uh, that's why we're removing it. I made no. it so that Somebody took a bite they're out a little it. bit more even in size. I'm going to take a bite okay. out of it. That would make more sense. Okay. 
Okay. okay. Now here's the trick with these. I've got my oven preheated at 425. We're probably going to cook these about 17 to 20 minutes. And um, while that while that's happening, we're going to you know do the rest of this for you. But we're going to save all the uh, meat juice that comes out of this, and we're going to make got a it. sauce with it. So uh, when we're done with this, we're literally going to. I I called it meat juice. <laughs> no, welcome, to Reno, Me welcome to yeah. Reno recipes yes. where we have meat juice. Yeah. Nikki, I'm, Nikki keeps uh, Nikki keeps bottles of bacon grease in her fridge and has promised me one. I oh. still haven't seen it. All right, so there you go to give you a better look. And that's really like we'll that's it. really big out of like what we got. I think we only used one and a half pounds of meat. Yep. So. Um, you know, with the stuff that we got in there and the way that we did it, we uh, we got a lot of volume out of it, and uh, everybody's going to be eating good. Now, here's one thing that I do as well. Let me tell you, and this is as 1950s as it gets. I'll put some of that ketchup right on top so that it bakes right in. I think my mom used to do that. Mm, yeah. Too. I always use. I mix ketchup, A1, mm. Worcestershire, and liquid smoke. That's my, my It's your own show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, you can do it any way you want. I do it this traditionally because at the end. Um, yeah. You hear all the. It really. put ketchup on it anyway. It really looks good. Oh, yeah. See, but that's the thing with this meatloaf that we're making is uh, because we're doing a sauce on it. Yeah. And because we're making it real fine. See? Okay, fine. Let's see. Um, you're not going to need to put ketchup on it. Okay. The cool. flavor's already going to be in there. It's in, in there. It, it's in there yeah. and it's on there. I never so, would have thought to put apples. So we're good. good. And then I'm going to ask you to sing the song one more time. I have to eat apples and ketchup. There you go. Mm. Janet, okay. can you sing the song? Sure. It's like, want to help me because I don't remember. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> That's my ambition. Let's go. Ready and? Red and yellow. Purple and green. green. Salt, Salt and pepper, pepper on everything. everything. Uh, mm. Could you do it on all of them? Sorry, I was doing one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing it one at a time. There we go. Tell me when. Well, you you know what? We're going for flavor, so you're good. Mm -hmm. That's good. And then um, pepper, maybe go a little hard on the pepper. Okay, let's go and hard. And then you know what? Just go. right off the seat off. of our pants, because we're thinking oh, about yeah. it. Nikki thinks I always forget the cheese. <laughs> I remember the cheese. So How long uh, this cook for? we'll put it a little bit on there and both the uh, both the ketchup and the Parmesan are gonna help put a crust on this, get a little golden, get a little browning on top, um, the sugar and the ketchup, get a little caramelizing, mm -hmm. and um, you know that's really yeah. that's really what we want. You know, you want to be all ah, oh, and then it's soft ah, oh, <laughs> and juicy. So we're going in the oven with this. Four twenty-five. I'm gonna set the Caution. timer. Be careful um, around. Warning from Josie, be careful around ovens, make sure to use oven mitts, and be, don't play with knives. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you for that. That's really and good. wear a mask. Thank you. All right, Jeff, we'll call you back on at the end to do a taste. We are going to be working with some hot oil now, so oh, yeah. let's, oil. let's do this. That's where I come um, in. We're going to go with olive oil because I have a ton of olive oil and I like to use it. You can definitely use a vegetable oil on it. We're not going to do a flavored one on this because we're just going to season it after and make it all uh, yeah. Okay. So, gotcha. here's what Meat we're going to do. Stinky. We're going to grab a pot oh, and pan right here. Just got clean. Let me know when I need to soak the pepper again. I'm ready. I'm going to put it on my big flame right here. I know it's a little bit dirty, but we just filmed the other episode right before this, so I apologize. I'm really not mm -hmm. a big slob. Right, and I'm going to start it at low heat. I'm going to put on like a, uh, a six or a seven. Let it get warm enough, and then I'm going to have a plate on the side with a uh, paper towel so we can take them out, and then uh, they're crisped up, and then we're draining all of that um, excess olive oil after it, but while it's hot, we want to season it because the seasoning will sink mm. in at that point, and that's really where you're going to get mm. the flavor of the seasonings when you, you do the potatoes. That's so, Are we using truffle mm -hmm. sauce? Do you want to use truffle salt? I mean, I love it. What's that mean? I don't care. Do this <laughs> meatloaf is so fancy that we're going to use truffle, truffle, truffle salt. What is truffle that? Salt. You know, I can't truffle wait. Salt? Yeah, oh, yeah. truffle's like a yeah, chocolate. Yeah, you got to tell her. No. <laughs> it's a mushroom. Oh, truffle it's a, a mushroom. It's a very it's exotic, very uh, 
search after, um, there's only truffle seasons in certain places at certain times, okay. and um, truffles are, adult, I mean, they're sold by the ounce for lots and lots of money. Let's use some of them. Yeah. Um, like this, something else that's sold by yeah. the ounce. <laughs> Like I got my, I got my truffle salt. You don't know where I got my truffle salt at? Bighorn Olive Oil Company. Of course you do. Yeah, of course it is, and I love it. Um, but yeah, like okay. th this thing of salt uh, is about fifteen times more than what a regular thing of salt is cost. Okay. But so you'll like it. Okay. You want here? You want to try? It? Yeah, give me a little bit. Little bit like your finger so it sticks on it. I might like it. So give me a pound, a little oh. pound of it. Thank you. Give me a half pound of truffle yes. salt, please. Yes. Mmm. Let's see. Mmm. That's delicious. I can she eat guy, that by itself. She guy fairied it. Mmm. 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 I should have more of that. I gotta wash my hands again. Mm -hmm. All right. So good. as we go, we're gonna put these in here. Nikki, would you yeah. grab a plate? Oh my god. And that is um, so good. there's a paper towel right over there. Certainly. And if you could. Uh, Actually, probably two plates with paper towel on the bottom of them, so these are done. Got it. And then, we've got some fresh thyme in there, and I think literally, fresh thyme and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, <laughs> trouble, Anna, trouble she's salt coming? is, uh, yeah, Anna. yeah, Anna, is, uh, is going to make these taste perfect, and they're going to go great mm. at the bottom. So, we're just going to. Go. So I got the I got the oil hot. I didn't want to get it all hot at, at a high temperature, kind of warming up. Now we're gonna turn it up to about eight. We got that ready, and we're just gonna place these down. And you can see them already start to boil. That boiling is literally the water coming out of the potato. And you guys know about oil and water, and uh, that's also it's crispy now, so. Yum. I love potatoes. Let's do that. And this is just, really, of course, you can make mashed potatoes. You can make whatever you want. But um, if we're really trying to, like, doll, doll, doll up like a, a meatloaf, um, one of the ways you could do it is the way that you present your sides. And, mm -hmm. um, and, it's, just, and it's just good. I mean, if you have a friend over, they're going to be like, serious? That's meatloaf? Look at your meat. Yeah, Look at yeah. your meat. Yeah, and you're like, hey man, I just loved, wow, that's a I loved your meat all over. That's a nice loaf. loaf. Yeah. It's got a you got a sweet loaf. Yeah, a sweet loaf. Did I get a salt a side of bulbing ones? I was hoping <laughs> you were gonna make a feet loaf. Have you seen that one? Oh, feet loaf? That? Yeah. What's a Where you shape your oh, meatloaf shape. like a foot and then you use loaf. onions as the toenails. I'm I'm and literally not <laughs> that talented. That'll be next yeah. episode. Yeah. <laughs> so but I am while they're in here. When they're going to cook slow, we're going to take our time with that. We're not in a big hurry because we've still got plenty of time left on that Mevo. Boom, 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 boom. And while I do this, I'd like you to uh, have Jenny give herself a plug, tell you what she does. I'm sure what she you, does? What she does. I'm sure what that you does? could always use some, uh, always. some more business like the rest of us. And, uh, Tell us your history uh, in Reno, and it's, well, I'm we want to keep you blue. That's for sure. Born and raised, and um, I am 42. I am a hair and makeup artist, and I work pretty much all over the West Coast, freelancing now um, since COVID. But um, I do hair for film a lot of times. One of my movies just came out. It's called Attack of the Unknown. Find it on Fandango now. You can watch it and then watch from a name at the end. Yes, that's right. Um, yeah, I just fin wrapped another Lifetime movie called Dear Christmas. That'll come out, obviously, at Christmas time. Um, currently, I'm working on a project called the Flag Series, which is a, a project that's near and dear to my heart because I feel like I'm a true patriot. Um, I'm a community member, active community member. Um, I love where I live because I currently live in Northern California in the Sierra Nevadas, and I love where I work. So I feel like... The flag series was a great representation of my patriotism and how much I love our country. And we are going on tour. And our next tour, we're coming to Reno on September 16th. And if you are interested in having your picture taken and getting your hair and makeup done and um, being photographed with the flag as a patriot and maybe being interviewed, 
give us a call. You can click the link in my bio on Instagram. And all my handles are H-A-M-U Genio. That's it. That's Thanks, it for me. Jane. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, we're really, really excited. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't so, know how to yeah, cook. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, awesome. yeah. 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 that's like, real cool. Uh, so, um, you know, one thing that's really going on right now, and we're gonna, I'm doing a little cleanup while well, these are still cooking, is uh, everything's crazy. People are losing their minds, and um, no one knows what the truth is, and people are divided. And one thing that Reno Recipes is about is uh, staying in the positive and staying on the right track and not getting involved, not only in those conversations, not that we shouldn't have a voice, um, but I think that people need a place to go to get away from that. I, I think, you know, that's one thing that we're providing. Step away from the negative for yeah. at least an hour. Step away from the negative or, or whatever. Just, you know, it's just easy to get caught up in. So, I'll shut up about that. <laughs> and, oh God, look at these potatoes. Look at those. Look, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm wearing this mask because my constitutional. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Is that rosemary? What is that? That's time. time. So let's give a little peepsy. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. We're just browning these. Oh, and that's what the thing is, you know. You take your time, you let them go. And, uh, you know, you're trapping that flavor in there. Mm -mm. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. You know, I think instead of herd, we should say word. Because you know what? <laughs> we should because we're not a professional kitchen. We are at home cooks doing and our thing, and that's 80s. not to say that I I, I I cook professionally as well. But we both this grew up show, in the eighties, and it just makes more sense. Yeah, uh, a lot of kitchens. If you go to, and, and there's going to be a lot of people that cook that are watching this, are, they're going to laugh. Uh, but when you when somebody calls out the order. Uh, a lot of places now, it's a new trend that I need a chicken onion steak and I need uh, two lambs on the fly. And back in the day, you would just repeat the order, but now you say, heard! And it's, uh, it really makes people look stupid. <laughs> so, you are especially we, bothered by it. Well, yeah, <laughs> we, we like to make fun of it. Heard! All right, man. All right. All right, man. So I'm going to turn these down while these finish. I'm going to put those back to a five. They're just going to play themselves out. And um, the next thing that we do is what? Sauce. Eat. Take a just break. Kidding. Oh. <laughs> Hi guys, we're back. We finished our potatoes. All we did is we sprinkled some truffle salt on there, a little bit of pepper, some fresh thyme. Everybody's been dipping in them. They're absolutely oh, so good. They're absolutely delicious. Up so I can eat some more. <laughs> yeah. And what we're going to do now is we're going to make our sauce, and we're going to pull our meatloaf out to let it uh, heat. Here's the thing: when you cook meat, you got to give it time to rest, really, because that's how the flavors coagulate, get in there. When you pull some out of the oven and you chop it immediately, All or you cut into it immediately, out. yeah, the juice runs out and you're it missing out right on out. flavor. So. No flavor. That's your tip for the day. You're welcome. Thank you. Yep. I just did that right there. Right there. All right. All we got for all of our sauce is going to be so dang easy. I've got a little bit of butter. I like easy. I've got a little bit of cut up uh, onion and mushroom. Mushroom. Butter. Mushroom. Butter. Onion. Word. Hey, do you remember that show, <laughs> Sesame Street? Yeah. No, I, I'm too young. Do you remember? Do you remember that skit? Her name was Wilhelmina, and she uh, she went. I gotta go to the store. I gotta get a loaf of bread, a quart of milk, and a stick of butter. Wilhelmina. Hmm. No. No. Okay, then I'll just be over here. By myself. <laughs> I want to know though, what happens. No, that's, that's what she did. Oh, like, that oh, was her thing. That's Cause, exciting. Because her mom wanted her to remember. And she had to remember oh. a loaf of bread, a okay. quart of milk, and a stick of butter. Stick of butter. And what I'm going to do... You want to stop? How are you going? Mm -hmm. All right, we've got our mushroom. We've got our onion. We're going to put an onion right now. We're going to salt and pepper this as we do everything. Let me do it. Do you want to do it? You want to sing, sing the song? Oh, shoot. Um, sing the song. Red and yellow. yellow green Purple and, and blue. blue. <laughs> I like what? salt and pepper, you so do you. don't know what the hell to do. <laughs> Tell me when. 
I only know that from Olive Garden. Yeah, that's great. Only one, okay. So where's great. that salt? Nope, we're, we're, not it? we're not getting salt. We're not getting salt. Salt's already done. Right. We're going to let that cook down. We're going to deglaze it with a little bit of wine. We're going to cook that down a little bit. And then we're going to add cream. And mm -hmm. it's going to be literally a sauce that we can do in like four minutes. But while we are waiting for that, if you don't mind, I'm going to get... I'm going to get these out of the Oh, man. They look beautiful. They do. They look beautiful. Look at that meatloaf. Can you smell that? You don't want to waft it. Smells mm, great, delicious. right? Delicious. Delicioso. Mm. And all those great things we put in there, cooked on it. i over here caffeinating. All right. That's that. That's that. Get off the board. There we go. And then we'll scoop those up in a second. I'm going to come back to here. These are starting to turn. You can tell when they get translucent that you're there. We've already got the flavor from the butter and the salt, so the wine's just going to add to that. And we don't need to do a ton because, you know, let me make it enough to sauce a couple. There you go. We're going to let that cook out. See that? Oh, and then so steaming the vegetables as well. I've got a little bit of heavy cream. See that? We're going to toss, toss. See that? The wine's already cooked out. Alcohol is out. And it's got the flavor that's going into those mushrooms. And those mushrooms are absorbing all that wine flavor. So you got butter, wine, salt, and pepper absorbing into there. Right there, a little bit of cream. We're going to reduce that. We're going to be good to go. So while we're doing that, mm. Ooh. Ooh. you know what I'm going to add to this? Here's the thing about cream sauces. You can add anything you want, and it's going to get any flavor out of it. Mm. So, I'm literally going to add a little bit of Worcestershire. You see how it's all bubbling like that? I'm going to do that for just a couple more seconds, and then we're going to pull it. I'm going to stir that flavor in there. Get all of those out. And with the cream sauce, which is... When you're going, that it's going to go over something, not like the pasta that we did on the last episode. You want it, put it back with a spoon on it. If it coats it, you're there. And you hit the heat, and we got some sauce. Jenny, you want to try yes. that? Mm -hmm. Give it a blow. Mmm, that's really good. Mmm. Ooh, okay, I'm ready to eat now. <laughs> Alright, so we've got these. We've got a spatula. Mm, that's good. We've got mm -hmm. a plate. Yep. And let's scoop out one of those. Put it right on the plate. We've got these. Since we're getting all fancy. Fancy meatloaf. You didn't think it was possible, but it is. Put one in the center. Right there. There we go. Now we've got a starting point. And I'll use a clean knife. We're gonna go right into that. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry Ooh. about that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right there, right out of the centerpiece. And you got the onions there. We're gonna spoon a little sauce onto that. Got the mushrooms and the onion on top. Right there, crisp potatoes. Looks so good. We're going to clean up the plate a little bit. And, oh my gosh, we don't have any herbs left. Oh, we're going to take a little bit from here so that we've got some color. Some of that fresh thyme on there. It's already on it. And voila, fancy meatloaf. Jenny, you want to come over and try this yep, for us sure before we uh, scoot out? I was just waiting patiently, so patiently. There you go. I mean, this is the part of cooking that I'm really good at. Here's there you go. Right Nikki, mm -hmm. Jenny. That's why I'm here. Yeah, right? This We're taste TV. testing. There we go. I'm going to get the potato with it. Mm. Is it delish? Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. 
Fancy meatloaf. Fancy meatloaf, pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. So that's easy. Mm -hmm. We did that all in, in 35 minutes. Mm -hmm. So if you think cooking at home is hard, it's not. You just gotta have a plan, a path. And like I said, you can substitute any, any, any ingredient here. Um, this is the way that I like to do it. it seems to make them happy. Um, we're gonna try and say goodbye, but they keep eating. But if you could, again, please give us a, um, uh, what is it on, on YouTube? What? Uh, you want to su them to subscribe? Subscribe, like. subscribe to us on YouTube, Bruno Recipes. He's really old. Pass it on to right. a friend. Right. Uh, we want to thank He's Jenny O. Thank you. Of course, we always want to thank Nikki. Um, hope this is great. Uh, I hope this is a great show for you, this one, yeah. and um, and that you go out and make some fancy meatloaf yourself. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next episode. Mm. That's so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm.